the Padres open their most anticipated season in years next week at Petco Park. A limited number of fans will be allowed in the stands to cheer them on, but as News 8 Steve Price tells us, you practically need Fernando Tatis's salary to afford those opening day tickets. Steve? There hasn't been this much excitement heading into a Padres season since that awesome World Series run in 98. 98, but if you're a fan thinking about going to opening day, it's actually cheaper to buy yourself a new big screen TV and watch the game at home. A lot cheaper. Towards right center field. And the Padres are already a huge hit with fans, and the season hasn't even started yet. Fans are excited. They haven't been able to go see a baseball game in person. Uh, in over a year. Adam Bedelli works for StubHub, which has an official partnership with Major League Baseball. I searched StubHub today looking for opening day tickets and check out these prices. Nosebleed seats for over 1400 a ticket. Good seats selling for 2000 Obviously, opening day across the league is usually one of the higher price games to begin with. Adam says part of the problem is that the Padres are still trying to figure out who will get tickets to which games. Petco Park can hold 42,445 fans, but in the red tier, they're only allowed to fill 20% of the stadium. That's less than 8,500 tickets, and they've sold over 11,000 season tickets. The Padres sent News 8 a statement today about opening day tickets, saying to start the season, including opening day, we will unfortunately only have enough capacity for our existing full and half season ticket members who have been with us the longest. When the county moves into the orange tier, Pekka will be allowed to hold more than 14,000 fans. And in the least restrictive yellow tier, more than 28,000 fans will be allowed inside. In your punch, De Leon. The Padres say they still don't know if or when this season their box office will open to fans for single game tickets. Regardless, experts say prices should drop considerably as more season ticket holders actually get their games confirmed from the team, flooding the market with more available tickets. Prices of tickets currently listed are obviously significantly higher, but as the season progresses, uh, we, we anticipate that that will level out and become a little bit more normal. Finally, a warning. With the Padres a hot ticket, there will certainly be scammers out there who are looking to capitalize on the team's popularity. So make sure you're only buying tickets from trusted sellers. Steve Price, News 8.